here click create a new database in in the name of WordPress transfer will be created and you need to create a new user and password in the privileges screen you can create a new user I am showing it here here in the privileges screen you will see a new in the PHP my admin in my local host you will see in the privileges screen this is the add a new user ok just click that add a new user and here is the username Vikram I have used my name host local host because this is local computer password I am using the same Vikram retype password Vikram and here in the bottom grant all privileges on the database WordPress transfer I mean database for the new user Vikram for the new user Vikram I want to grant all the privileges select insert these are the privileges what operation can be done on the database to the user Vikram and now I need to create the go button ok just clicking it and here you see that a Vikram user has been created in the localhost password has password is same as Vikram and here you can see that DB username Vikram database username Vikram password Vikram database host localhost this is the wbconfig.php file I am showing you why this file is necessary ok so now this is the WordPress installation and in this folder I have uh, placed WordPress in all files from my website in the WordPress installation and the this is the db.sql file the SQL I mean the all tables has been dumped in this file and WordPress installation here these files ok now I am showing you to import all the tables to my local computer so this is the PHP my admin of my local computer local host in the local computer in my desktop and now I need to import everything in my new database WordPress transfer import I am clicking the import here you will need to choose the database file location of the text file this is the SQL file which I have exported from my website to local computer now clicking choose and here you will see that db.sql is the main database file DB, so I want to import it in my website ok before importing there is a one job pending that is I need to open this db.sql file using a editor like wordpad now I am clicking to edit this file ok I have opened the db.sql file using the wordpad and this is the uh, database dump file from my website to uh, my local computer the db.sql file and my site name is my wordpress site.com so database name was in my website is my wordpress site.com but mind it in my new wordpress local installation my database name is wordpress transfer not my wordpress site so everything needs to be changed ok just don't bother about that now my target is to change the domain name where it exists in this database file so 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 I am just showing you my wordpress site.com exist in many places in this in this db.sql file so I shall replace every occurrence of my domain name in this database, database file by my local local installation folder name I am showing you and this is the local host in my local computer apache server or php server and here in the download folder I have dumped everything in the download folder I have this is zip file wordpress installation in this folder everything in my wordpress file has been placed ok so this will be my local installation wordpress folder path so in my database db.sql file every occurrence of my wordpress site.com should be replaced by this whole path so now I shall replace everything every www.mywordpress.com including HTTP by this whole excluding the slash mind it 
I shall replace this. I shall replace all the occurrence of this string by this string. This is my target. So I am clicking the replace and now I am just using the notepad I am just copying it and this find what this will be replaced by this okay this and now clicking replace all you will see that all occurrence will be replaced in this db.sql okay all done okay just closing it and you will see that uh, localhost download WordPress installation all occurrence has been replaced just save it after saving my new target is to import everything in my in this database from this file choosing now I am choosing db.sql I've just changed it okay now I am just importing it import all the tables to this database new database in my local host or local computer and now clicking the go button all will be imported all tables have been imported all tables just click it and all the tables you can see it. just click it and you can see the data structure and all the data here anyway if you click details I think you can see much okay so all has been imported to your local computer and now go inside of the WP WordPress installation folder in your local computer click on the WordPress config file right mouse it and open with with an editor like notepad and this will be opened and here I have opened here and put all the data proper data here replacing the website information from this WP config so replace by your local data which I have just imported 